Hadin Bau Secretary KNEC Ulayatu, Bakila Dep Mang Pisa Shipok Lur Ban Shnap and Bhaya Kayodu, Nakaliang Umentri Rangba Kajella, Ukonrat Sangma, Mentakasni Kakandai Tarik Urumpang Arhajar Arpusau, Ulapente Bakasor Kajellaru, Kala Dep Mang Sanklur, Naka Benta Ban Pen Bhaya Kinala, Ki Footpart, Bat Lada Kajing Mang Pisa Janka NEC Kaseso, Kan Long Kajing Yarap Shibun Ba. Umentri Rangba Kajella Ukonrat Sangma, Ula Kren Shai Baka Jing Hang Kapliya Ka HNLC, Ban Wan Shakami Jongka Jing Ya Kren Yasuk, Ula Ben Rap Da Kabaong, Baki Don Ki Kendon Ki Baka MHA Kabo, Bat Nyim La Ban Yai Lai Naki Te Ki Kendon Ki Baka MHA Kabo. Seeing the official, uh, official writing, so, uh, but I reiterate that we are open and we would uh, ask them to reconsider their stand. We also want long term peace and so that we would reiterate that they should come to the talks again. But as I said, regarding their uh, talks or that invitation or whatever you call, uh, I have not seen anything in writing, so it would not be appropriate for me to comment on that. But the stand of the government conditional or unconditional clause? Uh, we have maintained again and again that uh, there are certain provisions and guidelines which the MHA has prescribed, uh, which is being followed for all organizations uh, with which government of India is in talks with. So it will be followed on basis of those guidelines. We cannot do uh, deviate from that because that is what has been prescribed for all the talks and hence uh, if they start changing that for uh, one or two organizations then they have to change it for all so within the uh, prescribed uh, norms of mha uh, we are ready to talk in whatever uh, the first was the draft uh, governor's address for 2024 so that was of course shared with the cabinet and uh, it has been approved so that was the first item the second was the ordinance uh, that was done earlier of the Meghalaya fiscal responsibility and budget management act 2006 if you recall that we had put an ordinance to it a few months back that ordinance and the others which all also follow but uh, this particular ordinance was taken up today uh, I mean, an ordinance which was already cleared earlier was taken up to be now put in as a format of a bill. So, the Meghalaya Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2006 that has been uh, formally now approved as a <coughs> bill which will be taken up in the assembly. Uh, the third was that uh, the Meghalaya Engineering Public Works Department Service Rules 1995 uh, that had to be amended. Uh, because certain changes were there, or many changes rather were there. Um, so instead of amending it, uh, we have come out uh, with fresh rules, and hence uh, we have uh, uh, scrapped the old rules and uh, we have brought in the new rules. Basically, we could have gone with amendment also, but as I said, the amendments, there were so many of them that it would be easier to just simply come up with the uh, fresh set of rules. So today, the Meghalaya. Engineering Public Works Department Service Rules 2024 has been approved by the cabinet. Uh, the fourth was the uh, approval that was given to some amendments to the Meghalaya Building Bylaws 2021 for sustainable urban development in Meghalaya. These uh, amendments are being done in line with uh, certain uh, provisions and certain conditions uh, that has been put in by Government of India, number one, and also uh, to ensure that overall safety uh, of the buildings are there and uh, also to ensure that uh, the smaller land holdings, there could be more utilization of the land uh, by small land uh, owners uh, because earlier there were some restrictions in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the gap that you had to leave uh, from the front in the rear and the sides and so that has been reduced uh, and some of the amendments have been made uh, for example to the height of the buildings that are permissible and also to the construction of uh, buildings in areas which are uh, 50 degrees and uh, higher slopes uh, certain provisions will apply um, so those kind of amendments have been made um, if i if you wish then we can give more details later 
uh, and the last was regarding the approval of the Shillong Urban uh, Mobili Mobility Policy 2024. NEC Secretary, he mentioned uh, that uh, he will be giving 10 crores for uh, the Yodo. Uh, for the Yodo uh, uh, construction and uh, rehabilitation, not uh, rehabilitation, construction and renovation. So uh, we are happy to announce that uh, already state government has initiated the process and 5 crores tender has already been floated for the improvement of the Nalas and the footpath in Yodo. So this has already started. So uh, the NEC's uh, uh, sanction, if it comes through, then it will be a great uh, uh, help to us. But uh, in that Yodo aspect also, we will be getting funds from the special capital also, a special assistance for capital investment to do that. And the first phase, as I said, has already been tender. We should be allotting the work in about uh, a week's time or 10 days' time. And uh, we're hoping that the road, uh, the footpath and the Nala construction will start in Yodo. And whatever additional funds the NEC will support us with, we'll be happy to utilize that also. There will always be individuals who will talk. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. I mean, if their emotions are there. Whether they're right or wrong, that's not what I'm commenting on. But it's, it's the person's uh, individual perspective. Uh, when it comes to the talks, it is between two governments. And therefore, the two governments will ultimately decide. Individual level, people can make comments. I have no comments to make. Therefore, as I said, the talks are between the two governments. Individuals can make comments. I have no comments.